I'm about to present you with, but well, this is the only thing I'm gonna I'm gonna hide for the novel master police is this here. Uh, that's a number and email. I don't want them to b get bombarded uh, with something from people. Uh, but this is the only thing I'm gonna hide. Uh, this audio recording is in Slovenian language. Uh, je audio posnetek v slovenskem jeziku, to je audio posnetek od oktobra 25.2025. Uh, this audio recording dates to October 25, 2024. Um, it's basically audio recording of greatly delayed hearing. Uh, 98 days took place since I had a hearing at this police station. Uh, on July the 19th of 2024, just as the numbers are listed here. Both hearings were done by uh, Mr. Andrei Stefanich, to whom I have complained to in on May 25th, 2018, just exactly the way you see it right there. and who have instead used a psychiatry, let's just say, to push me out of the country with more death threats, more problems, more issues. Uh, I ran for life at the time to Poland, and that was just upon return from, uh, as a matter of fact, was it from Poland uh, to Poland this time? Yes, I think it was to Poland this time. So uh, I had returned from Belarus, so, um, it took over, what is it, uh, six and a half years since I submitted, I came to police station to submit another MK Ultra complaint just as you see it right there and it turned out it turned into an a a a incident uh, some sort of just as a police state is going to be ma steer down according to mk ultra scenarios they planted and believe i'm going to play accordingly uh, and it later turned into a hearing that was on july 19 2024 so 98 days since I again met Mr. Stefanich, with whom I have assembled, he helped me. He really was helpful in assembling me uh, a police report on two police officers and then have investigated the whole thing. And, well, uh, follow up on me, uh, schedule me for appointment for October the 25th, 2024. Just as you see it, I again appeared at a police station. Um, by the way, today is, just as you see it, well, it's still Monday, the 28th October 2024. So that was like three days ago. Uh, that was basically on Friday. Today is Monday. This was on Friday, October the 25th, 2024, that I met at the police station. Uh, with Mr. Stefanich. And they also had a gentleman from Ljubljana who also was involved in MK Ultra who came. Uh, let's just do it like this. I did uh, a little bit updated, so now there is uh, some extra information that is added right down below where you can. Uh, Feel the difference between uh, a report of Stefanich because he went on to interrogate the two police officers. Uh, and during his interrogation, and also what he claimed was he claimed was a, a video surveillance tape inspection, which somehow description does not match the description of what clearly can be heard in audio recording 
I did not notice anything irregular or anything, anything, anything. I basically took time to point out on my website and also on the report which he helped me with to assemble one. That's basically this report right here, right? So nothing really common with reality and um, he did make sure that he would threaten me even with placing audio recording online. As this is prohibited to audio record, the video record at the police station, etc., etc., etc. Which is obviously doing uh, to waste my time because I deem that the incident during which I have also mentioned him uh, problems with my 92 years old father was of no interest to him when it comes to my present struggle, situation, issues I'm dealing with. So he is stealing time and is primarily specialized to steer away attention from what took place in 2018. He is buying more time. Buying him more time was extremely beneficial to him because he managed to negotiate with all kinds of people in the background. In meanwhile, I, I ran throughout the Europe again, uh, escaping the persecution, anywhere from through Hungary to Slovakia, and where I filed political asylum and uh, in to Poland and then to Czech Republic. So what he did was he assembled more crime against me. He used this to put me in some really deadly situation. He situations. He exercised, in other words, assassination attempts, indirect assassination attempts. He is buying more time because of the harm he knows. Police caused me health problems, uh, and he is unwilling to uh, to perform as I required when I came to file for a complaint against the police station and the police director uh, Jursic and Ogulin, the two Novo Mesto directors I came to file the complaint against, uh, he's doing absolutely everything possible for the crime, and in other words, to go on against me. And he's doing absolutely everything possible to protect himself by even advising me on how it's not allowed legal to post audio recordings online. But these audio recordings are going to go to authorities. They are going to go to the state prosecutors. They're not, no longer going to go also only to a police department because the police department does not want to investigate this. Have based on my views, exercise a total derision, scorn for my complaint. And is abusing one, is abusing its authorities to do exactly the opposite, to again engage in crime against me. Again, they are trying to do persecution against me. That's exactly what they are doing. And so what I, what I am doing right now is I'm going to play you a tape of October the 25th, 2024, which... Um, I was dared, threatened against during MK Ultra, uh, literally with the officers, which did not only involve Mr. Rezelje and Mr. Pevets, but also other two officers, of which one was present during this hearing on October the 25th of 2024, uh, and other one was not. Uh, that's the one I'm talking about with Pevets, with other police officers that were, with many other police officers that were involved in also traffic crime, which I also described on well uh, demonstrated, recorded, pointed out on this website. So they anticipated that by my placing them online, audio recordings and such, uh, would give them, in fact, after they would orchestrate yet another fake hearing, like a Stalinist, 
like a, jo like a Joseph Stalin I like hearing because this is what it was. This extermination procedure, genocide, was started in Slovenia against me by Slovenian police, by the Yugoslav police at age three, when I was delivered to three months. At age three months, when I was delivered to the Belgrade city, to the Josip Broz Tito. In 91, Slovenia becomes independent country, but they did not only inherit this genocide case, uh, they did everything possible to make one come true. They enforced genocide, which they inherited from Yugoslavia, against me. And have practically given away its sovereignty for this reason. They did not even wash the main case, the major crime, the main case of the, of the Yugoslavia, the, the biggest secret that Yugoslavia carried all along uh, upon its Slovenian independence. They didn't bother that because they were sure that you're going to wash their hands with my blood. You're talking about the 53 years of genocide here. So these criminals here, these murderers, these assassins from the Novo Mesto police stations, police station, together with the Slovenian parliament, still believe that they're just going to exercise another Stalinist hearing, police hearing, uh, on which they will be the one filing the charges against me. That's exactly what also psychiatrist cops, they dreamed about together with others. That they're going to incarcerate me, that they're going to push charges against me. Well, good luck with it. This is going now forward, and this is the hearing which took place on... Three days ago, on October the 25th of 2024, that's basically where we are at. They wanted this hearing and they didn't want this hearing. The one thing they didn't want to do, they didn't want to do the job. It was violent, the stuff they did. It was nasty stuff they did. And these are just the simple facts. I am not going to delay this stuff. I am just going to go ahead, and just as I stated, uh, I don't know whether you want to take this note of this stuff now, whether you want to, uh, or you want to repeat this uh, audio recording. I yet have to see if I can also stash this uh, onto the original um, onto the original audio recording of October the twenty fifth, two thousand and twenty four. Because this computer I have, it's not really handy. It does not really do me. I don't know what of a favor and this is this is quite a lot of documentation here this is a lot of stuff uh, I deem that this uh, reports here have nothing to do with reality um, it appears to me uh, that the hearing itself which I had with uh, I don't know what his name is. Um, well, let's see this. Um, Tomasz Napenchnik, and this is a sector for complaints against police. This individual that threatened me inside of the room where the hearing took place during MK Ultra procedure. Uh, the police officers inside of that room were on quite a few occasions, including Mr. Stefan, it's really violent. So 
uh, this is a type of hearing we are talking about now and this is the procedure they asked for they're gonna get one so this is again this is a page four this is what I stopped they planned on disappearing these people planned on disappearing uh, and so because somebody plans on disappearing and somebody is just simply unwilling to perform its job its duties duties which Slovenian Parliament was to do it was their job to come out and give the truth out they wouldn't want to do this any of that stuff they just didn't want to do it it is simple as this they refuse to do the job they simply refuse to do the job this is not my fault and i'm not going to be paying for people who inherited such a gross and crime to simply seal one literally through the psychiatric violence they literally have hospitalized me in 2012 accuse me of paranoid schizophrenia uh, and that's after almost 40 years of mk ultra torture or torture under mk ultra which is the most bestial uh i have never heard for anything so gruesome like that never heard that some country would be capable to do something like this to somebody uh, i wasted i lost 53 years to slovenia slovenia went after me for 53 years craved for 53 years to get me killed that is a quite a world record i'm gonna say i'm gonna put this explanation about this stuff here i'm gonna put this uh, right about the audio it has nothing to do with reality uh, even this stuff here which is about my statement which I already have made in respect to uh, incident which took place uh, on June the 21st of 2024 I already have made him a statement I made him a statement and I have made me made him more statements I didn't want to give in because it was all about according to MK ultra brainwash to steer me away from telling as it was I had never never heard for any 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 kind of procedure like this this procedure didn't make any fucking sense it was Stefanich who got my statements on July 19, 2024, we already had the hearing in respect to this stuff. And obviously that he wanted more statements from me in respect to his findings, what he called findings. Um, the way I feel, the way I was described here, my statements that I gave inside of the audio, which you are about to hear as next, of course, uh, on audio from... October 25th, 2024. Uh, I think with this stuff here, that it was like, like, <laughs> uh, like he was trying to simulate me, demonstrate me like really some kind of schizophrenic, like some kind of simple man. When in fact, you're going to listen to the audio, you will realize that I'm sharper than any lawyer you have ever heard. That I'm more specific, sharper than any lawyer, and also fluent in language. This is not even my language, English. My native language is Slovenian language. I learned English later in life. And I was not in the United States of America for since, I don't know, 2010. So there you have, that's another, what, 14 years and half um, spent 13 years of my life in US I'm not a shizo I know what the fuck I'm talking about and I'm fluent I'm well spoken in Slovenian language have ability to well describe incidents
my statements are credible statements. They're well described, they well remind, uh, it's fluent, and it's nothing that they dreamed about, they would, they literally have studied the psychiatrist, Tatiana Proksha, to whom they have uh, thrown me to, who was involved in this crime since her early childhood, too. Uh, on her findings, the way she, she was writing the stuff, it really was insane stuff. So insane that some psychiatrists have even from abroad labeled her as a schizophrenic. As totally unprofessional and as such as a schizophrenic. A psychiatrist that was just wasn't sure whether the fuck you 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 hear me giving you a clear statement or you hear yourself hearing me giving you a crazy statements like completely incoherent, confused and so on. I don't do that kind of stuff. Everything is in order here. Everything is intact. Everything is connected. Everything is, you know, like you assemble the watch. There is no here. There is no that kind of stuff. And by studying her findings, or I should say the reports that she have created when I was obligated to meet her, it became clear that it's either something really wrong with her uh, or that she is just doing her best to depict me uh, as a schizophrenic, as a somebody who is just giving crazy statements, like incoherent crazy stuff. They weren't really sure what they were dealing with. They weren't really sure whether it was I who was giving her, you know, information that was... Um, rather I was depicted really like scattered all over the place or something like this uh, lied about what she have observed on me and so on doing during, during, uh, uh, during the meetings compulsory meetings with her this is what the Slovenian Supreme Court Slovenian courts decide I will go after me with. Uh, and or was it something wrong with her? I was even told by the foreign psychiatrists that I should find the audios and place them online so the psychiatrists themselves can compare them with her reports and the audio. Uh, the audio from Tatiana Proxer for her is devastating. However, I have to tell you that they browsed inside of this kitchen, even my Facebook account, and might have deleted one photo, one photo of report from the Facebook account, or maybe even more of her reports. That's a strong possibility about that. And the second thing is, I had a psychiatrist, Gradisher, who entered here without being invited here, Another psychiatrist, another apparatchik from Milan Kuchan, uh, would just come here uninvited from Berger, literally to terrorize, uh, and came as such completely uninvited. I had no idea who he was. Involved in MK Ultra, he was, till he presented himself to me, and then I started to video record him. He didn't like that. Well, guess what? During MK Ultra, once police drugged me up, delivered me back home, he too appeared inside of the house, inside of the room, throughout, browsed my computer, had police browse the computer, found the audio video recording, and delete one. They were literally granting themselves access through hijacking, through, truly through the hijacking, to drugging up abductions, literally, from a psychiatric hospital and within the home whenever they managed to drug me up inside to enter the house, to enter the room, to go on my computer, to go through my hard drives and modify information according to their taste. That's not cool. That stuff is not cool. It's not legal, really. As a psychiatrist, as a police officer, you have no fucking right to do that kind of stuff, to perform that kind of right. You would need the judge order. If you don't have, then you're never, ever going to obtain one. That's, that's one thing for sure. If you aim with 
this audio recording, so I'm about to put them online to get some kind of a judge order to confiscate my stuff. You're never going to fucking see one in a million years. Uh, there's a crucial evidence for the prosecutors, for the investigating police officers to consider and compare what is written here with simply with the facts, with the audio recordings. Without the audio recordings, I would have absolutely nothing. Mr. Andrei Stefanich, upon listing me his findings during the meeting, did not demonstrate any video or anything like this, which was totally anticipated. I knew. And the procedure I'm exercising, this procedure, why am I doing this stuff? I'm doing this stuff to demonstrate the world that there will be no mistake about it. The United Nations, European Court for Human Rights, European Court Ombudsman claimed on several occasions that I don't follow the procedures through the Slovenian system, which are, despite that I already have demonstrated, there is, no, there is no legal system established in Slovenia. When they would just come to pick me up, throw me inside of the psychiatric hospital, during psychiatric hospitalization itself, there were severe violations that occurred. And there was no grounds for them. It was nothing other than lies. And I had no right to even opinion from the second psychiatrist whatsoever. Nothing. I don't know if they do stuff like this in Russia. At the courts, the attorney, the defense attorneys, they dedicated to me after sending me like a hundred letters from all the lawyers from Slovenia. They got involved in MK Ultra to do nothing other than abuse, doing their best to tell me that I'm a dead walking man and nobody can help me, uh, who was dedicated to me. Um, that was a Mrs. Uh, Reg Regrat or something like this. Uh, she, uh, she added more charges to the lies with which Slovenian police, with which Slovenian courts, with which Slovenian prosecutors have charged me. So it was not my lawyer, my defense attorney, as it the case should be, uh, but it was a simply uh, extension of the prosecutor that added to original charges extra charges, more pen penalty, more punishment. During even during even during hospitalization in a psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje, poisoning went on with salt and so on for medications they were giving me, uh, literally producing such effects, health effects, such a severe health effects that I thought I will fucking die. I could surely not even walk. I was not capable to walk due to physical pain. And at the same time, it was accident even that they are giving me a poison, not even a psychiatric medication. And psychiatric medications are very bad. Very bad for your health. Very also have extreme side effects. They more resemble poison than anything else. But uh, in my case, in my case, I couldn't move jaws. I couldn't walk. I had a difficulty walking. I had to every day force myself walking even so that I could start making walks and then go about it because it resembled worse than lobotomy with saliva running out of my mouth with oil dripping out of my head like something that, according to the people that work at the psychiatric hospital, they have not seen yet anything like this. Nobody has seen anything like this stuff yet. So, without audio recordings, this here would only make sense for the police. And I don't agree to it. I don't agree with this kind of stuff. I don't agree with the Stalinism, which Slovenia started at my age three months. Slovenia started the extermination, Stalinist extermination, Procedure under Josip Brostito when I was three months old. Novo Mesto police served as a military court to Slovenia, to the Josip Brostito, to Yugoslavia, to Milosevic. Nothing changed for 53 years. I don't agree with it. And so I reserve the right to post 
audio recordings online for the people to hear, compare this here, everything with what I described, point out with the audio recordings and so on. So there will not be any mistakes. And I do this stuff also in plain English language. Uh, I'm going to take time and actually even translate these parts of... I'm not going to translate them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take time to go over this stuff here. And I'm going to take time to go over audio recordings to, to write you down the differences of what actually happened and what is written on this paperwork and how the hell this stuff was all done. During audio, you're going to hear me being interrupted all the time, even told what am I allowed to say and what am I not allowed to say. Um, Mr. Mrs. Moitsa Gusenica was trained, literally, to, um, to write uh, reports accordingly with instructions of uh, Stefanich. She is often an um, apprentice of Stefanich whenever it comes to typing. She assists him very often, and Stefanich was honest enough to explain to me during MK Ultra procedures that the way this typing is done, uh, I would have problems dealing with it because he alone would assert what is allowed, what's not allowed, what to enter, what not to enter, and even the choice of words that, that is used. I was warned about these issues, even by Stefanich, even by the police officers, what to expect. The thing is that uh, Slovenia should declare itself the latest in 2010 about this case. It did not. Now it's 2024. It was another 15 years of life I lost. I'm 53. And in meanwhile, they threw my elderly father literally on a deadbed. Uh, they created enormous struggle here inside of the house and have used my father uh, as a stroke patient who posed at the home for elderly people as well as at the hospital as a stroke patient uh, since year 1998. From 1998, my father was used in MK Ultra procedures as, a, as a, somebody who posed for police as a stroke patient. And so that stuff is definitely cannot be good in absolutely any way, right? Uh, he's 92, he's having really difficulty, and I'm having a really hard time because of broken spine, which police accomplished. They went on with Milan Kuchan, with, uh, with Gregor Golovic to break my spine uh, in 91. And uh, using this issue so literally for me to grab father, push him up, and do exercise with him walking and stuff like this well in fact he cannot even stand up on the feet so they are doing this stuff really bestial stuff next to kidney disease they created and other health issues broken teeth to to engage in like extra extension of the genocide which still they hope they will get something on me some way somehow yeah, that's the way this stuff is done. That's why audio is going online. Uh, he warned me about the audio not placing one online. Uh, I have to stop at the police station to charge Andrei Stefanic with a, with a murder attempt of my father, 92 years old father. They gave him a stroke. They did destroy my father and used him best to their abilities, needs against me.